smoke rises from the city before me. The King's Bridge is gone. No. Every now and then, I tell my daughter the story of the night some years ago. A night when the sky was radiant with shooting stars. That night, your father and I made countless wishes together. An asteroid called Ulysses came into Earth's orbit and disintegrated into millions of pieces which poured down on the land below. As we watched the shooting stars that night, fragments from the asteroid rained down on our eastern neighbor, Estovakia, damaging a great deal of their infrastructure and devastating their economy. Soon after, the news reported that their nation had fallen into a civil war, one that would last for years. Eventually, the internal strife was brought to an end when the generals came into power. In the midst of hardship, the citizens of Estovakia were convinced that the only way they could recover as a nation was to rely on a military government led by these generals. Before long, they went so far as to invade our nation, the Republic of Ameria. Our military was forced to retreat to Kesed, an island far to the west. My husband, a fighter pilot, also hasn't come home since. Ever since we came to the twisted remains of my daughter's school bus, my soul has left me. I am empty. Some of our tanks are parked at the approach to the bridge. I go into the crowd on the train and endure two weeks of pure hell before finally ending up at a refugee camp at the border. I don't know any of the names on the list. My compatriots, who have now become refugees, gather around a single radio to listen to the broadcast. Even though the station is broadcasting out of Grace Maria, occupying forces have taken complete control of the airwaves. 
The enemy must have completely overtaken our capital, Grace Maria. However, the announcer went on to say that our castle was robbed of countless antiquities that once were elaborately displayed in our castle. Stripped bare. As the Instabucky military, it is our sworn duty to govern this crumbling nation and get it back on its feet, starting right here in Great Maria. I found a group of street children in front of the central station here, where the area has literally been reduced to a slum. Step on up here, little girl. What do you have to say about all this? My ears were not deceiving me. That voice belonged to my daughter, Matilda. 